Today we want to share with you a small demo of our upcoming Blender 2.8 add-on. This will be just a quick preview of the features we're working on for our 2020 release, but please keep us posted with any feedback or suggestion. We've reworked the add-on from the ground up to give easier and more complete access to all the core data motion capture framework. Once you've installed the add-on, initiating a ready-to-capture mocap configuration will be as easy as going to Window, Core Data and pressing Init Mocap Session. This has now created a mocap workspace and installed the basic Core Data node tree. Every core element of our framework is now wrapped in a modular and easy to use node. Let's delete everything in the tree and investigate some possible configurations. The Nota Core node gives us access to the stream coming from the Core Data suit. While network functionalities are not yet implemented, you will find the node with the demo mode option activated as default. This will make the Nota Chord node output a three bone sample animation. We can use a debug node to print the incoming rotations to the Blender console. This node will help us inspect every type of data traveling through our tree. Another new tool that we believe will be very handy is the test cube node. This node allows you to select one incoming bone rotation and apply it to an object in your scene. We've also implemented some helper functionalities to get your mocap session going in seconds, even from a completely blank project. From Window, Core Data menu, we can quickly instantiate in our scene a Core Data sensor model, a three bones arm, which is composed of discrete common objects. If you're interested in knowing how you can use regular objects to mimic the behavior of an armature, let us know in the comments. But this doesn't stop with testing components. You can also directly add a full biped armature. Other nodes you'll be able to use are Armature node, allowing you to apply the capture to an armature in a scene with just one click. Forward node, for sending data to other devices, and the record node, for recording your capture. What would you like to see in the upcoming releases? Let us know at Core Data Mockup on Instagram and Facebook, or join the discussion in our forum.